Yo guys, if you like the intro, be sure to thumbs up the video. This game here is a D1 MMR um, against Anivia. We usually go first strike and teleport against her with Eclipse and just farm her for gold. But right now I'm just trying to find some more builds since I spammed a bunch of first strike. <laughs> so I went Conqueror with triple haste in the runes and Ignite Flash, Nimbus Cloak. Um, it's actually really fun to always use Nimbus Cloak, I think. Uh, I mean, it's always good fun. But yeah, um... Apart from that, we go Eclipse into Profane, into Black Cleaver. Just get a bunch of haste and survivability so we can try and use our W multiple times in the mid to late game and play quite aggressively. And yeah, let's see how this game went. So my bot lane ends up finding Karma and they chase her down, which is fine. Now I'm thinking, well, if Varus shows bot, which he probably will, then I'm going to go ward. So I walk to check it. If Anivia is there, and then I think, okay, maybe Anivia can be here, but she's not. Then I ward and run back to lane. It's good to do that at 120 uh, or around there instead of 130 against ranged champions so that they don't zone you off the first wave and poke you a bunch. Um, and yeah, now the lane is beginning. Anivia is probably moving down, so I ping, and we saw her on the ward, I think. Uh, so I'm just going to wait. Since he's roaming, I want to make sure Anivia misses XP. So I don't push. I know that I can't push the first wave fast enough. So I take it nice and slow, like this. I miss a CS, but it's fine. I think my Karthus missed a lot of Qs um, when I was not watching before, but it's fine. And right now I kind of have Pryo. So I could probably get level 2 first. Um, so I Q through the minions like that. Usually I play defensively. But then we get level 2 first. And then with level 2, I start pushing as well. Now I'm thinking, well, Gwen is on the red buff. She started with low HP, so maybe I can kill her. Uh, especially because I have Nimbus. Which is why I push this lane. I get level 2, I see him, and then I start running down. And I keep walking forwards, and Anivia's chasing me, and that's fine. I'm not too scared. The Wraith starts hitting me, and then I get scared though. So I walk away, I get stunned, which is fine. I know I have Nimbus, so if Gwen walks back, which he does, and he jumps as well. So I can just... Going like that is what I was thinking. If Gwen wasted her dash, I'm going to go in with Nimbus, which I did. And then flash away because I know that Anivia can probably flash and kill me if I'm unlucky. And now I recall, I get double longsword. My wave is kind of bad, but also not too bad because it's pushing towards me. I think I missed the cannon XP and a bunch of stuff like that. But yeah, it's a very unorthodox uh, first three minutes of the game. Usually you have to play defensively. Um, but because Anivia roamed, this is kind of how it went this game. So as I come back to lane, there's a wave pushing towards me and something I want to show you guys here right now is I see Anivia walking to the left to try and maybe hit Wukong. So I don't hit the minions, but I know I need to thin this wave out. So I let the minions hit a bit and then when I see Anivia walking back, I kill a few more minions like this. Very important to thin the wave because you, it would be a big crash on your tower if you don't. And then Wukong just gags him, he flashes away and we run him down. Gwen shows up, but so I make sure I E both of them to get my W back just in case. And yeah, it's like you want to thin the wave when it's like pushing towards you or slow pushing towards you. If you want to try and freeze, you have to thin it accordingly. It can kind of takes a bit of uh, practice to understand how much you need to like thin it. Um, but yeah, you don't want the wave to be big, big <laughs> or like too big for you to like handle or control. Uh, always want to keep good control of your lane and your wave and everything. So yeah, I get the crash, I get the kill, and I have pickaxe on the recall, so I'm very, very strong in this game. And then, when I come back to lane again, pretty much a repeat of what happened before, with the wave slow pushing towards me happens, because I got a crash on the cannon wave. And so I want to thin this a little bit, which is why I kill a few minions, but I make sure I don't 
you know, kill too many. Um, I want to thin it to a point where I have slightly less minions than him. So that it's not pushing too much. So this is perfect. 4 to 3. And, you know, he queues through, which is fine. I W E Q over his Q, which is kind of fine because I still have these two minions to work with. I missed the Q, but I was like, it's a bit of a racist game because I swear that was in the indicator. But, uh, yeah. It's fine, uh, I'm completely fine with him basing because those two extra minions are gonna like kill the wave, right? Kill my wave. That little minion there that I hovered my mouse over with one HP, I don't kill it uh, because it's doing a bunch of damage. Same thing with the other one that died to the cannon. So even though I don't last hit those two minions, they did a lot of extra damage that I don't miss out on uh, or that like helps me. So it's fine that the minions, like I don't get those two minions. So he missed the whole cannon wave, and now this is the next wave. So, like, that's how you want to play with the minions. Um, they still deal full damage if they're, like, put 1 HP, so don't last hit them if they're, like, in a situation like that. As we can't ganks, and I get another free kill. Um, so yeah, like, just small things about the minions like that can help you a lot, because I only had two extra, or he only had two extra caster minions on that cannon wave, and I froze it, and he missed the entire wave, even though he got a decent ish recall uh, timing. So yeah, as I'm running back to lane, I see Set use his W and he's chasing the Volley Bear. I know that I can kill him. I have Eclipse. I'm ready fed. I'm pretty happy. So I just WW in, very complacently missed my Qs. <laughs> but yeah, we take the free kill. And I see Anivia's right there as well. I'm pretty sure I can cut her off. So she's walking down here. So we just go in with the WEQ, take the W as well. Auto E and then I Q through the bush. Blind Q. Easy peasy. And obviously we're going to shove this wave because then she's going to miss all the minions. Right here I know Anivia is roaming bot, so I'm going to shove the wave before I move. And as I'm looking at this fight, I'm pretty sure my team is just dying, so <laughs> I continue running there, hoping that I can get a kill. I'm pretty sure I draw my flash, so I just flash in like this. He flashes as well, which is fine, but then I realize, oh wait, he has egg and he's on the tower. If I walk under the tower to kill him, Varus will probably kill me, so I just kill Varus instead. But I'm thinking that wasting my flash was actually very, very bad, as I poke him a bit more. Because I'm 6-0, so having my flash would actually be uh, very, very valuable. Now I'm mid again, I'm pushing the waves. I see a cannon wave thinking I'll take that, but then Varus is mid now, and Anivia's bot, which is fine. But also notice the game is very hectic, it's 17-18 to 18 at 11 minutes. But I'm trying my best to try and be as um, consistent as possible so that I'm not inting. As I go in with the W ult combo, like that. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty sad. But then I Q. And I was also thinking about Karthus ult being up as well, so we can maybe kill him. But then Karma showing up wasn't something that I really thought about. And I just go in and put Karma a bit. And shove the next wave. So now I'm actually pretty strong. I shove in a cannon wave. And as Anivia queues, I'm thinking about using my W forwards, but then I realize I'm fed and I need to be as consistent as possible in the chaotic game. So I W backwards and it was good because we saw the Kindred. Um, or the, the Gwen, I think. Uh, so we push right now. Just shove the wave out. And then I go straight bot, knowing that Gwen is going to be bot as well. Because we saw her run by. Use the little wind dragon thingy to get there faster. W over. Use my spells on her. And I ult because I see the Varus ult coming through. I kill her with Conqueror and stuff. W onto the Varus. Did some damage thinking that Karthus could kill him, but then he misses every Q. Um, or at least he misses like three, four Qs. So I just see him recalling. I'm like, whatever, let's flash WQ. And we actually get him. But that's like a horrible use of my flash. So I kind of insta regret it. But it's fine. We take it. But yeah, it's usually important to not play too aggressive in your own lane when you're ahead. Uh, especially if they're playing really safe like Anivia was. So if I dove that Anivia right there uh, before roaming, I would have died and it would have been really bad. So instead, just get the shove and get the roam. And be smart about it. Try to use your teammates to your advantage. Uh, like I used the Rakan uh, kind of as a meat shield there. As Gwen used her spells on the Rakan a bit. And Rakan used his jump on her. So just waiting for spells like that usually ends up being a lot better when you're fed. Right now, I kind of want to just dive the Anivia for fun. So I'm losing patience, which is not good. So I just do it and I go in. I miss the Qs initially, which is really bad. Um, but then right here, I'm thinking, oh, maybe I can kill her. I use Q, 
Uh, I think I hit all three Qs and an E with Eclipse, but it's not enough with the Card Assault. And I'm kind of regretting it because I wasted Ignite, and that's like a Nimbus speed kind of spell. It could help me, but yeah, there's a lot of wasted summoners this game, which I shouldn't have used. Um, either way, I get the shove on the cannon wave, and I take the tower. Although, right here, I could probably not hit the tower, and maybe let the wave die a bit more. Um, that might have been better, since now I have to shove the next wave. But it ends up okay, because Gwen is topside, which means it's quite safe to take the next wave. If it wasn't safe, then it would be better to just wait a bit more and be a bit more patient. As I said, being more patient usually ends up being better when you're fed and trying to carry. Now I'm running back to lane. I make a mistake not looking at the wave earlier. I see that Anivia stunned the minion, I think, because I wasn't watching properly. But yeah, he did. So I use my W and I'm just spamming spells on the wave, trying to bait him in. Use my Q as well. And then I ult onto him, auto E to get my W back. I see Varus, which is kind of sad, but then I WQW and I greed for the auto E. Varus doesn't ult me, so I'm able to kill her and get away. Right now, I'm going to walk bot, so I WW, I randomly sweep a ward, and then it, Gwen starts teleporting. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that Gwen jungle had teleport for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, we just kill him. Um, so I WEQ, and I go nice and patiently. Realize that I can take the W. Profane auto E would kill her with the passive and yeah, extra profane damage. Um, against Gwen is a champion... Well, Gwen is a champion where you have to play patiently against, otherwise she'll just like burst you and kill you. So yeah, I'm always going to promote the patience, guys. Um, I think it's just OP. Makes the game so much easier. So I end up stealing a bunch of the enemy jungle. I have Cleaver in base, but then I get greedy because I see Anivia used Q. So I'm like, YOLO, WW ult. He flashes, which is really sad. Now I'm just running away. E and then hit some Qs. Now he has no Q again. So I use W again forwards with just a Q. He walks towards my shadow, so we take the W. Auto E ignites with Profane and run away as Ignite kills him. So yeah, we take the freebie, I guess. Now I'm pushing top. I have Eclipse, Cleaver, Profane uh, in terms of haste. So I'm very, very strong. A lot of haste. I want to fight. I want to go in with W initially and then Auto E. And Alt and E again to get my W. And I use Autos and E's as a sixth Karma and W again. So, yeah, I was just thinking I have a lot of haste, so I'm just going to use my W forwards. Um, and then auto E to get the cooldown for the next W. It was a pretty good way of team fighting right there, because there was no one to really threaten me. And, yeah, I watched the Karthus miss Qs. He flashes. I'm pretty sure he's going to miss again, which he did. And I was like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was a funny laugh. And we just run away. We take it. Here's a quick blooper as I randomly just go top and push extremely deep into the enemy base without my ult up. Um, so yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, I dubbed away from the set damage, but then I just die anyways. I'm like, oh. Surrender. Zed is weak. And now we're taking Baron. Um, I'm thinking we can get it before Gwen arrives, because Rakan can hold her off, but then Rakan just wa randomly wastes his spells on the set. Um, so Gwen gets pretty close, which makes me have to go in. Set almost steal that. Uh, stole that Baron. I think the Carthus E got it. I have no idea. Maybe his Q. Uh, I wasted Flash, which is pretty bad because I don't think I would have died. Um, but then I just go top and push, even though I could maybe go mid and try to end even. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to end this game. Let's just keep playing. YOLO. So for my last item, I was between Sundered and Shojin. I realized that I have a lot of haste already, so I just went Sundered. Um, pretty sure it's better. Uh, right here, I just go for the flank, knowing that we could probably win. Alt onto her, get my W back, W in, E again, Profane, and use a W as I take my Alt Shadow. And then right there, I'm just using a couple E's on Gwen, so I can get another W for when I take that W. Uh, jump for the Varus, and kill the Inivia as well. Um, might have to rewind it to, I guess, understand, but I was using my uh, melee range E's to get my W up more uh, often and quicker. And yeah, now we kill the set, I think, slowly. I see the redemption thinking, yeah, there's no way I'll die. And then I almost get one shot. I'm like, oh, that's balanced. But uh, yeah, after that, we end the game. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I hope it was useful as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Interstellar, my space, no one else sees.